what's up my awesome people today we are doing the new code block design uh, from here and i just create new code block and what what uh, you have to do is whenever you click create your co uh, code block it will show all your thing, all your projects here and you have to click new design and well this is going to be what you will see just some uh, random shapes so this is a tinkercad tutorial uh, code blocks and let's do it first of all i'm uh, renaming my project to chair uh, just so it's very convenient and now we need to create the actual chair so you have to go to modify and you have to do create new object and rename the variable to seat we are creating the seat of the chair so all all uh, you have to do is for now uh, just get from the shapes uh, and add uh, and you have to change the uh, change the numbers here so this one is okay 20 uh, with 20 length and but the height should be 4 since it is it is going to be a seat and the edge too just to make it a little more round and basically for now uh, this is done so what you will just see here is this and i'll just uh, change the color to this of for a wood kind of design and now to create an, and now we have to create another object the back of the seat so i'm just going to rename this variable to back and for this also you have to get uh, add um, box now in these coordinates you have to put a little different 20 width 4 length 25 height and 2 edge so it will create something like this don't worry about moving it just now and i'll also change the color to this and now we are going to create the leg of the object uh, rename variable leg and at the end of the video i'm going to show it how to use this chair in your other projects so yeah uh, create new object leg and for this get another box and but for this one be different so three width three length 15 height to edge and I'm just guessing it so yeah I think this should be enough and I'll just do it like this I guess okay I, let's just check how it looks and of course you can't see the leg because it's inside this yeah now you can see it but it's inside it and I don't think I like that color so I'm going to do it the other grade, this one. So yeah, guys, this is the main thing. And now you have to do create new object. And this is going to be the main chair now. And now what I want you to do is go to modify and get a add copy of object from data. Get a seat. And now, now we'll move it. So from modify get the move command and I guess uh, 15 because we did the 15 height and the uh, chair seat should be above the thing. So hey guys, uh, sorry I was just gone for a little bit and now we can just de uh, get the delete from here delete object and then get the uh, seat and let's get another add copy from the modify and let's put the back that we put earlier here uh, the back and now we have to get a move command uh, and what I want you to move is 10 and 28 
28 height cause uh, the half of his head is the floor and if we move it 15 just like this you then uh, then the half would be under the under the chair and half would be above the chair so 28 uh, I made a guess and it is connected that looks pretty good and let's get a delete object back and now for the legs this one is going to be a little difficult now i'll have to assume very much so move let's see now uh, nine maybe nine and z zero let's see now Oh yeah, oopsies guys. <laughs> uh, from uh, the leg thing, you have to get another move and move seven, five. And yeah, let's see how it looks now. If I am correct, which usually I'm not, uh, then it should appear like right here. It's, it's like the half of the leg is like outside the chair. So let's try eight and eight. I mean eight and eight and yeah I think it should work like yeah and uh, guys you can adjust it as you want adjust the colors adjust the movement yeah and yeah I think it looks pretty good good nice and then all, all we have to do the other chair like here uh, just put the negative 8x so it should be here and here and now just duplicate all of this from here and uh, uh, you just have to put negative 8 as the y not the x but as the y and then you should get at the front also here let's see now good nice and now now as i showed you as i told you earlier in my video that uh, we are, uh, i can export it into the 3d collection and oh yeah before that the fifth leg and also right before the delete we have to create a group and yeah now we are going to export it not as any of these but as the part and then you can just name whatever you want I'm just going to name it chair and you can do tags to easily search it and don't do this save and now if we just go back to the code uh, back to the uh, Tinkercad main uh, thing then we can go to 3d designs create new design and just uh, just imagine that we need a chair here then we can organize it and put shapes collection and it is here everyone yeah look guys it's here nice and of course you can just adjust the size as you want oh you can even make it a sofa or a bed no this is a bed now this i did not even mean to do that but in what it's okay everything is approved by me okay so yeah guys that's the end of the video if you guys enjoyed then make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button bye guys see you in the next video